who would like to join me on a Blu-ray hunting trip? A shop vlog, a shop vlog up into London, to London's new HMV and see what that is like. And plus some other shops, Forbidden Planet, two CEXs, Disney Store, FOP maybe, who knows. We're going to go now. Let's start this video. Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new shop vlog hunt video. Something that I don't bring you often now because I kind of stopped doing them. And part of the reason why I stopped doing them is because, well, visiting C, there's not a lot to visit now. HMV, other people bring you HMV, um, like Kermit's Ghost, far better than what I could. Um, and CEXs, going into CEXs all the time, it got really boring because... I'm seeing the same stuff week in, week out, and if I go into the same CEX on a weekly basis, nothing changes. Very rare do they have something new or interesting in stock. But I've not been up London for some time. Now, I'm not going to stop with altogether with the hunting videos. When I go somewhere different and I feel the urge, then I will do one, but it's not going to be overly often. Um, but yeah, London's somewhere I haven't been for a while. Now, this trip was planned. Me and the wife were going to go up in December. But unfortunately, December for me was very, very hectic. A lot was going on. My father felt ill. He went into hospital. Um, I won't go into details or anything like that. But he's now moved in with me. I've moved him in here to take care of him, essentially. Um, so December was, wow, it was just manic, crazy, very disruptive um, as you can imagine, having to set up a bedroom here in the run up to Christmas, Christmas presents not ball. It was uh, it was horrible. It was a horrible, horrible time. Christmas Day went lovely, though, but everything around it was just hectic madness. And it's only now just calmed down. Now, me and my wife, we're going to go up into London and yeah, I'm going to see what what I can find. I've got a little bit of money to spend left over from Christmas, um, as I always do. And um, I go and see what I can find. So um, I'm not going to bother with any sitting down, talking to you, showing you the journey there like what I have done in the past. I thought to myself, we could just get straight into it. I'll snap my fingers and we'll be there outside HMV, the first point of call. Okay, so here we are at HMV. Outside, look, there's Bond Street Station. And there's HMV. So I came out of Bond Street and there I am. Straight at HMV. And across the road is the Disney store. So I'm going to go in there too. But let's have a look in here. The new HMV, back to where it always used to be. On Oxford Street. Now in the window, oh look, some Star Wars helmets. Now... I'm going to tell you something about some of these a bit later. See that one on the second shelf? On the right, Trapper Wolf, 134.99, I believe, or thereabouts, that one. Um, but here we are inside the store anyway, and this is the um, ground level, shall we say. So as you can see, there's no films on this level. It's all just collectibles, cups, um, tat, as you can see, sweets. Um, huge range of t-shirts as I'm going down now I didn't really take too much time looking but you know there look to be some decent designs decent images um, t-shirts um, jumpers or sweatshirt type of things hoodies that sort of stuff down here um, so yeah that's, that's a big big area of clothing um, and over here sweets Sweets, yep. Um, and over here, and oh, look at this, look at this lovely lenticular that is. Lovely lenticular. Ten ninety nine. I'll tell you something about that a bit later at the end of this video as well. Um, and here we are, look, you can see ground floor, basement, 
and first floor. And you've got some Marvel Legends figures here. Nice selection, but we're going up. We're going up to the level where all the films are. So Oppenheimer poster there. Um, new and best sellers. Um, yeah, Saw X, Exorcist, Mission Impossible. I'm just looking at the prices here. Not that I want to get this film, but twenty four ninety nine. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, this is all like stuff, films, books there. Um, I, I don't know. TV, that's good. I don't know what I'm looking at there, but there we go. So, yeah, we got another wall of film. As you can see, nicely laid out. Um, I'm literally just scanning for the, at this point, I'm scanning for the camera rather than looking if that makes sense. Um, you know, there, there's a lot of film. There's a lot of um, DVDs, Blu-rays on this level. So it's very, very overwhelming. Um, as you can see, collectible Blu-ray or something. Um, TV section, family films. That's the Thundercats. There's a whole superhero section. Look, look at all these. Um, this is a DV set, DVD section. I've recently picked these up individually. £30 in here for the four seasons of the old George Reeves classic series. Seasons five and six are very hard to get hold of. Um, and then, I don't know, I noticed this big box next to this. So this is Marvel Knights from 101 Films DVD set. Um, this is eight discs, that's £20. Then they had this big, I'll put it on top there, look. I had this big box with six in, that was a tenner. And I was sort of tempted by that. I was. Some Funko Pops. I don't mind these large ones where they've got the pictures at the back. Um, I prefer them over the actual little ones, although space would be an issue. And more Marvel figures up here, as you can see. And DC figures. There's Transformers down there as well. And a Spawn figure was down. These are all from McFarlane Toys. There's Michael Key in there. Um, there's the Spawn one, $24.99. I ain't got that Spawn figure. Um, don't particularly like it too much. Um, and then heading down more, as you can see, more films. This is just like Blu-rays. I saw Barbie there. Stands out to me, that one. And here's them tiny Toonie Terrors or whatever you call them. Oh, look. Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. 20 quid. Um, Ash. Groovy. I'm sure that's the same price. Didn't pick up another one. Um... And there we go. And over here, again, Star Wars, Star Wars films, Star Trek, DVDs, lots of DVDs, probably all overpriced, get them cheaper everywhere else. Back to the Star Treks. Why didn't we get season three on Blu-ray? I don't know. Still need to get. And Prodigy there. I still ain't picked up Prodigy on Blu-ray. I need to do that. They didn't have it here. Some Star Wars statues and helmets there. I want to talk about that helmet that was in the window in a bit. Um, little figures there, Funko Poppy style ones, I suppose. Doctor Who. Um, back to the Doctor Who. I call these Doctor Who DVDs. Star Wars figures, and you can see behind the counter there, collectibles, lightsabers, um, Agent Carter shield. Now we're out of HMV and we're into Disney. Disney, that evil company. Anyway, um, these little figure sets here, look. But we're not in here for this. We're in here for the Star Wars and Marvel floor. So up we go. And as you go up the stairs, you have Star Wars music playing, uh, which always sort of puts you in the mood. Up we go, slowly, slowly does it. Marvel, sorry, I'm drinking a cup of tea here. And there's a, a red trooper, a red um, First Order trooper. Oh, who's that? Oh, it's Carlo Ren. And I've gone past him looking at the floor. I don't know why, but there we go. Um, so we've got mugs here. Oh, there's a Spidey mug. It's Hulk mug. Um, 
Stark Industries jumper. There's a Lego R2-D2 that is always in here, generally. Um, what's this? This is an Obi-Wan Kenobi Marvel Gallery figure. I've got no place for you on the shelf. Sorry, back you go, Obi. Um, there's a sale on these statues. Down from hundreds of pounds to still hundreds of pounds. Um, yeah, I mean, they are nice, um, but so are the prices. There's some drums, oil drums there. Used to sand stuff on. Um, I don't know what I'm looking at. as a thing top. Look, you look like the Ben Grimm. Um, some mugs here. 50% 50, 50 off. This is a nice statue of the Falcon. Captain America Falcon. And a Moon Knight one there, look. But they were in the hundreds. They were in the hundreds of pounds. And I'm back here looking because my missus was talking about them. And look, there's a helmet and a black infinity glove i don't know what that's from there was a lego thor um what's here what's in this cabinet we got some lightsabers or whatever that is that's a lightsaber of some sort and i don't know saber swords and more mugs um interesting frosted glass stormtrooper face mug head mug there Star Wars t-shirts, toy lightsabers for the kiddies, um, more sales stuff over here, I don't know, figures, and I don't know what we're looking at, yeah, um, blue thing, what's that blue thing, what Star Wars, where was that blue thing in Star Wars, I can't remember, I cannot remember for the life of me, um, Darth Vader mugs, And now we're out of there, and this is Oxford Street, and I'm sort of going to be heading down now to the CEX stores. Um, there's two of them. There's two CEXs. We will go into both. And there's the pavement. Lovely shot of pavement and people's feet. And this is, what is this? It's like a Harry Potter shop or something. House of, what's that secret? House of Secrets. And is that Dobby in the window? Do I see Dobby? I don't know how I know it's Dobby. I've only ever seen one Harry Potter film. I might have seen bits of the others, but um, not a franchise that ever intrigued me or I got into at all. Not interested. And this is the shop that um, we found when I was with Matt and Chris up here last time, where they had the big Hulk statue and they sold all those sort of items that we just saw in um, HMV and it's, it's now closed down with Harry Potter written in the window so I don't know what that shop is going to become maybe when I come back up here in March when I meet Chris and Matt again and um, we might find out now this is the road this is the pub. I went into this pub here see that building in the middle um, and, and they've done nice pie and chips they've done nice pie and chips um, yeah, I liked it. Been there a couple of times. Once was with Matt. Me and Matt went in there. And then I've been in there with the wife as well. And it was a nice quiet pub as well. Um, but here we are in that first CEX. And we're going to have a look. So Annabelle comes home there. And the Airwolf movie. Rated 18. Airwolf was pretty good, wasn't it, back in the day. It's Black Adam on Blu-ray. Beetlejuice with a slip. Um, I do have Beetlejuice, but you know what? I, I'm not into it as much as what other people are. Basic Instinct. A body melt. Okay, from 88 films. Doesn't look like my sort of film, but there we go. Now, Charles Bronson, did he do a film once when he was fighting a grizzly bear? Someone tell me, is there one where Charles Bronson was up against in the wilderness with a grizzly bear... What is the name of that film? I think it I think it was Charles Bronson. I remember it as a young lad, this film, but I may be remembering it wrong. I was very, very young. Um, I might like to watch it again. A lot of Dungeons and Dragons there. I didn't get through that. Jewel, £10. I've got a spare jewel. That makes me 
wonder how much I'll get for it. It was that version as well. Elvira, Mistress of the Dark there. Equalizer 1 to 3. Um, third Equalizer film was pretty good. I did enjoy it a lot. Fast and Furious, um, Hobbs and Shaw. Probably my favourite of the, the Fast and Furious movies. Um, it's got more of a rewatchability factor for me than the others. Because it's a standalone. Joker there, Jumanji. Jurassic World. Uh, the Layer, I don't know what that is. Lost Boys, classic film. Kindergarten Cop, that's a good Arnie film. I have a lot of fun with that whenever I revisit it. Now with No Name Trilogy, got that. What happened to that many black film there? That was awful, weren't it, really? National Security. 12 quid, that. That must be out of print. Non-stop, Liam Neeson, with a lenticular slip to it. Plain Chateau's Norma Bills, again a classic film. Pain and Gain, I enjoy that. I think that's a good film. Mark Wahlberg, Dwayne Johnson. And it's got um, Anthony Mackie in it as well, hasn't it? You know, Falcon. Um, what do we have over this side? I don't know, I can't see. Spider-Man there, favourite film of the year? Last year. Um, looked a bit intriguing, a little bit. Shazam, Tremors down there, look. Um, train, you know, I've never watched Train Spotting. Never watched it. It's never really appealed. Is it worth a watch? Venom, Let There Be Carnage, War World Down the Bottom. And over here, we now have some other stuff, obviously. Um, this is a TV section. Doctor Who, the Paul McGann movie. Um, I enjoy that. I do enjoy that. Um, it was a failed pilot, essentially. It didn't go to series. This is the 4K section. £6 for Black Adam, 4K. Cheap. Very cheap. Um, Star Trek Strange New Worlds. But they have Black Adam again there. £8. So it's probably £8 gone to 6 And they just don't change that ticket. Now there's the 4Ks. And they do have a few more Blu-rays just around this side. Now I will say I do not go downstairs into the DVD section. Um, I'm happy just looking at the Blu-rays here. There's some manga stuff as well. Now, oh look, the British Telecom Tower there. As you can see, as we head to the other, um, the other of the CEX stores, and it's just up here. There it is. See it next to KFC. And there's Good Street Tube Station, right next door to this CEX. So let's go in. This one's always a mess inside. Always seems to be messy. It does look messy again, look. Um, so what do we have in here? We have um, that film there. I don't know what it was. Here's Alien the f um, Collection. Avatar Way of Water. I don't have that. I don't own it. Barbie, I own three of them. Yes, uh, £25. That's actually, it says on it, it's the soundtrack edition, which I've got. But where's the rest of it? Not unless the box is behind the counter. Um, Deep Blue Sea, £12, that's expensive, Deep Blue Sea 2. Um, is that hard to get a hold of? I don't know. Perhaps it is. Convoy. Come on, at least you've only just opened, at least tidy the shelves up. Cobweb, I uh, didn't really enjoy that film, I'll be honest, not my cup of tea. Um... Flash there. Re um, that, that Nick Cage film I just pulled out. The Retreat, or whatever it's called. Not a very good film at all. Not a very good film. Um, very disappointing. What do we have down here? Iron Man there. 
look, what well, if you think I take a bit of pride in the shop and have it tidied before? Because it hasn't been open long. This hasn't just happened every time. Mr. Holmes there. Um, playing shows normal bills again. The new pet cemetery, which wasn't great either. Robocop, always a classic. Resident Evil. Saisu's there. Sai if you haven't seen Saisu, highly recommend it. Um, you'll be surprised, just um, believe me. Surprisingly good film. Um, so that's sort of the end of the Blu-rays in here as well. And then we go, there's that Do Doctor Who again. The Pacific. And they've got the Agent's Shield. Look, every four or five seasons of Agent's Shield here in the big box editions. I do have this series but in the slim ones that one I just looked at was the Ghost Rider season um, they're good prices someone might get a bargain on these um, nice boxes but like I said I didn't, I didn't get them boxes because of space so I'll do a space um, still gutted that they haven't released seasons 6 and 7 um, and I don't see them being released so everyone who's excited about Marvel releasing, you know, the Disney shows, you've got to remember there's still Marvel projects that haven't been given the release. Um, look at this. This is all like big screen and butterflies. This is on the way down to the Forbidden Planet. This is on Tottenham Court, uh, at the junction of um, Oxford Street and Tottenham Court Road, this is. I've always got something different going on here every time I come up. And here we go. Look at these buildings. Red, green, yellow. Um, bag of rubbish there. An old telephone box. And there's a bus. Number eight pub. It's gardens. Forbidden Planet is just literally around the corner. To the right down there. And here we go. We're coming up to it. There we go, coming into sight. So what we'll do first, let's take a quick look in the window. See what there is. Disney 100 years, oh, or Disney 100, whatever that is. It's got to be 100 years in it. Okay, let's start here. What have we got? Oh, look at these. Boba Fett Mandalorian figures, statues. Fair amount of money as well. Nice though. Venom and Carnage figures there. Look at the site. This is big. That's big. That's the um, Hydra Stomper with, um, you know, um, uh, Steve Rogers. And there's Falcon Captain America there. So now we're going to, well, this is still in the window. Zoids. I didn't see it to the right. Look, Zoids there. I can see the Z-O. I didn't realise that was a Zoid thing. I'm going to have to search for that now. Zoids back available. Some Transformers here. There's Blaster. Yep, Soundwave next to him. His Decepticon counterpart. Will he be a counterpart? He's like the same sort of thing, isn't he? Um, t-shirt, Scream t-shirt, horror t-shirt. And here we have some Star Wars Boba Fett figures and Ahsoka figures above it. Um, yeah, cool. Down here, what's this? I see. I see a Masters of the Universe figure. Evil Lynn from the movie. The Master of the Universe, Dolph Lundgren movie. And who's this? This is Man at Arms from the New Eternia line of figures. Um, oops, don't knock that off. Elvira, Mistress of the Dark from NECA. I believe that's NECA. Um, Stephen Luther. Is that the one you have? I believe it is.
cool. Now over here, let's have a quick look in the window. Look at the size of that tumbler. Wow, huge. That's a nice uh, Doctor Strange. Spot on. Captain Carter there, statue. That's nice. Um, more Star Wars figures. It's funny that everything you look at is from the 80s, is from nostalgic era of my childhood. All the my, my majority of the toys, you know, He-Man, Thundercats, um, Turtles, all Star Wars, all, all older stuff that still has this longevity to it. And look, I love the look of these. Um, these are like PVC diorama statues, but they're now 75 quid. They've gone up massively in price. And I know there's another one coming as well, a different turtle. I didn't realise that one had been released. And over here, more Transformers stuff. As you can see, and you've got these little figures carded. There's Blaster. Yet again, they're, you know, they're only six quid, them ones. you got some more He-Man. Masters of the Universe, Fisto there, look. Uh, Skeletor, a different version of Skeletor. Um, okay. That's Fisto, I said. And um, whoever that is. I don't actually know what character that is, I'll be honest. I would if I'd filmed the bottom and, and took, got his name in. But there we go. Yeah, cool. Not as many as I thought they might have. But there we go. Not, and these are all DC figures from McFarlane Toys. Batman the Animated Series figures as well coming. Some of these, you know, a few of them are pretty cheap. I mean, I pick up some now. I take a look. That's the flash line. So this is the Atom guy. Oh no, from Black Adam. This is the Atom guy from Black Adam. And that's only a fiver. Obviously not selling. And Harley Quinn there from um, Emancipation of. And Booster Gold, four ninety nine. Decent prices. Um, there's some big ones. I'll walk around here. Some Funko Pops. And oh look, there's a Daredevil one. But it's the Electra version of Daredevil. Um, no, nope, they won't do a Punisher one because Marvel doesn't like the Punisher at the moment. And oh look, uh, uh, Spider Woman. These are all Marvel figures, Marvel Legends. That sort of a thing. And then they have some PVC diorama characters here. Um, we've got Modoc there. I've not seen Modoc before. It's pretty cool. It had some weight to it, that one. Venom Paul, Sandman, Vulture. And up top, they've got Wilson Fisk from Hawkeye. Yeah, Vincent D'Onofrio's character. And this is their sort of sales section. They've got a large atom fella uh, 12 quid that's a good price for the size of that figure good price and uh yeah that version of superman zombie superman i call him i didn't read that line i like this conan book these are signed these are signed books i'd love to get it but um it's 35 quid this book so i'm not paying that for it at this juncture 35 quid now let's go around to the book sale section there's usually something half decent around here or is it going to be the same old crap oh look they've got the big marvel books but they're hardly on the sale price down to 30 quid um, justice league is there Wonder Woman book, two ninety nine, Not a bad price. Werewolf by Night. But again, these are just down to 30 quid. So they've got a small amount off. Shang-Chi, same with that one. Um, 
Terminator Salvation making of book or film companion two ninety nine Snowpiercer Alien Covenant sort of annual style book Shape of Water one next to it there okay so they've got some uh, interesting stuff there. And this is the sale section. Loads of Doctor Who sale stuff. Some of them 99p. Three for two as well, look. Well, you should have a, your field day down here if you're a Doctor Who fan and like reading the comics. I'm not a big Doctor Who comic fan, though. Um, yeah, find them hard to get into. But interesting, to say the least. And here we are now. And this is in a pound land, actually. This is my pound land. On the way home in Lewisham, just to realise they had some Blu-rays, but they're the old ones, the old lot that they used to have. And there we go. Hi everyone, and I'm back. I'm back from that trip to London. And I do have a couple of pickups to show. Um, but we'll get into those in a minute, after a little chat. So yeah, so first of all, HMV. I went into that HMV. As you could see, it was split over three floors. It was pretty much what I expected. The first floor that you enter in onto is primarily aimed at tourists because it is all the, um, the, the, the bump that HMV sell now, all the, the extra bits, lots of T-shirts, the sweets, um, collectible stuff, silly little things, all that. The films are upstairs on the next level with a lot of toys as well. And on the lower level is the um, um, music stuff. I didn't go down to that level. Now, if you remember, I picked this up in there and I showed it because I do have this and I had picked it up a while ago in HMV, this lenticular for Wednesday that I really like and I was going to frame it and have it up. Um, I enjoyed the show. But that's not my point of showing you it. You saw that this was 10.99. £10.99 in HMV up in Ox on Oxford Street. So be careful when you go up there, will you? If you go up there. That's how much it was in my HMV. Yes, um, bit of a difference there. Bit of a difference. They're obviously targeting the tourists, people who, you know... <laughs> Yeah, you see, and, and that's why I looked at the prices of the of the films. To, but it looks like they're throwing the prices up on a lot of other stuff instead. So there you go. So be very careful. That was my local HMV. Not only that, when I was looking in the window of 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 that HMV store, um, they had some of these Star Wars Black Series helmets there. I say that because I was gifted this for Christmas. This is a. Um, Mandalorian one, um, what's the character's name, um, uh, the female character, my, my children bought this for me, um, great helmet, and I have a Boba Fett one as well over there, now I said to my missus, while well, I was looking in the window, I said I would really like to get an X-Wing pilot helmet, and she said, um, you know, do you want me to buy you one, yeah, I'll buy you one for your birthday, whatever, it may be. And I said, no, 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 don't do that. Don't do it. She was willing to. They were like 135 quid. She was willing to. Um, I looked on Amazon. The one that they had in there on Amazon for me, and I've got Amazon Prime, was £70. 69.99. Bit of a reduction. But then my missus went on to her Amazon account. She doesn't have Amazon Prime. And it was available to her for £53. It wasn't available to me on my Amazon for £53. But to her, she could get it for £53. How's that work? I don't get it. But there we go. Um, but yeah, so be very careful if you're shopping up there and you're going into HMV or any of these stores. You can find a lot of this stuff far cheaper online. I mean, for £53 instead of £134. That's mental. That's like a third almost of it. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, but anyway, I know my maths is a bit off there, but there we go. So HMV, no pickups. I didn't pick anything up. I didn't expect to. Um, I'll be honest, I can't see myself ever really returning to that HMV. I have no need to go there. That's the problem. 
So then over into the Disney store, where again I picked nothing up, but my wife did. She bought herself a nice mug. I can't show you it. She's got it. It's downstairs. It was a Star Wars mug. She didn't buy it because it was a Star Wars mug. She bought it because they are quality mugs in there. This one was reduced to six pounds. And they are a nice solid mug in in the Disney store. I can't deny that. Um, it had all female characters around it. Star Wars female characters. So Princess Leia, Ahsoka, all things like that. Ray was probably on there. I don't know. But there we go. She needed a new mug. Um, then we headed down and I went into not one but two CEX stores. Um, again, I picked nothing up in those two CEX stores. And this is the problem. This is why I don't often go into a CEX now unless I know there's a specific item that I want that I've seen online. Because there's just nothing for me in there. Um, after that, um, obviously I went down to Forbidden Planet. Now, Forbidden Planet is where I spent the money, or some of the money that I had. I spent quite a bit of money. I can't deny that. Um... So let me show you what I bought. So first up, in the sale section of books, I did pick up that Terminator book for £2.99. Terminator Salvation. Say what you will about the film. Um, it, it, I, I enjoyed parts of it. But I always like to have a read of a sort of making of and have these sort of background photos and, and reflect on what the film you know, the behind the scenes of the film. So, you know, it, it's a nice book in that regard. And it's got a fair amount. Of, I know it looks like pictures, but there are, there are a lot. It's not picking, it's too bright. It's, yeah, you can see it's got all text in it and that sort of a thing. So that's £2.99. That's pennies. Pennies less than a coffee. My missus bought herself a Costa. It was £4.15. Mental. But anyway, so next up, again, for £2.99, I picked up the Wonder Woman book. This is still sealed. I will open it at some point. Solid, solid book. I think Matt had this. Matt over at Matt V's Movies. And he's done an opening of it and a flick through. So you could check that out there. I won't do that at this moment. But um, I've got a fair few of these books as well. So it's a nice one to add to that collection of books. I hope I don't already have the Wonder Woman one. I don't believe I picked up Wonder Woman book. I don't think I did. Could it be a double? No, I don't think so. I don't think I picked this one up, did I? Saying that, oh, anyway, next up, I don't usually buy full price Masters of the Universe figures, but I couldn't not, I had to, I said to my missus, well, I, 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 she said, look, just pick them up, get them, get them for yourself, and, because um, I didn't know this was coming, I hadn't seen it, and it is Evil Lynn, Evil Lynn from the 19, I think it's 1987, Masters of the Universe, Dolph Lundgren movie, figure based upon her, um, what can I say? What can I say? Um, I do have Skeletor from this range. And he looks great. He looks fantastic. Um, I don't have the Dolph Lundgren He-Man figure. Because the face mould isn't Dolph Lundgren. And this isn't very much like the actress. Um, I can tell this isn't the face mould of the actress. I forget the actress's name who played Evil Lynn. She's got those crazy eyes. Um, those crazy coloured eyes. I forget her name. Someone remind me down below. But anyway, um, I couldn't. I couldn't not pick it up. I had to. It's um, Evil Lynn. Um, I like my Master of the Universe figures. But yeah, normally I won't pick them up full price. Now, the big, the, the biggest thing I bought was this here. And it was Blaster. Transformers figure, Blaster. And I was going to leave this because I had it on pre-order with Zavi. Um, only Zavi ain't come through with it yet. So I cancelled that pre-order. I got this in Finn Planet. Exactly the same price as what Zavi had it for. Now, there's a reason I wanted this figure like this. Um, as a young lad, I used to have Transformers figures. I used to be out with my mates. We'd play with our Transformers figures. And out of all the figures I ever wanted as a child, this was the one. This was the one. When I first saw this character, I thought he was so cool in Transformers the movie. Um, and, and I just could never get this character. I could never get this figure here in the UK. I had Soundwave. Um, but I never had Blaster, this sort of Autobot equivalent of Soundwave. And, you know, it's like the old classic boxes as well with that imagery on it. Brings back a lot of memories. So this is like a very much a nostalgia buy in a sense because um, it fulfills a, a, a hole that was never filled when I was a young lad. And now I've got it. 
when I went to Chris's, Chris over at Cypher Sigma Toys and Screen Time, when I went to his house, all these Transformer toys he's got, loads of them. I said to him, the only one I want to hold, Chris, the only one I want to touch and look at is your blaster. But now I've got my own. And I'm so happy. Even though I do have a smaller version of it on the shelf over there. Um, so they're the pickups. So what did I get out of today apart from that? Obviously no films, which yeah, is somewhat unfortunate, but can't be helped. There was nothing for me to pick up. Um, but like I said, the HMV, it's nice to see all the films they had upstairs. There was a wealth of them. There was a wealth of stuff, but there's nothing that I would pick up. There's yeah, very rare that I'd pick something up. I don't think I've ever bought anything in FOP. So, you know, and I didn't go in FOP because, well, same sort of store, isn't it? Um, but, yeah, I don't think I'll go down to that HMV too often. Certainly a lot of their stuff outside of the film is overpriced. So I will say that if you go there, be very, very careful with what you buy. Like I said, that's a huge markup. From six ninety nine to ten ninety nine on this item is a huge, huge markup. So be very careful. Um, that's all I can say. Anyway, that's it done. That's the video over. Hope you enjoy it. Let me know in the comments down below, and I shall see you and speak to you soon. Take care, all, and goodbye.